Introducing uh, Mike Tyson. Tyson's ninth fight was against Donnie Long, a.k.a. the Master of Disaster, who had a good record and was the first opponent who was expected to cause Tyson problems. This was a step up for Mike, a step away from the comfort zone, and was exactly what the critics demanded. Well, the heavyweights are ready to step back into the ring. Undefeated Mike Tyson out of Catskill, New York, against always dangerous Donnie Long. Tyson has been touted as one of the outstanding heavyweights coming down the pipe, and Al Bernstein takes a close look at him. At 19 years of age, heavyweight Mike Tyson is hard to ignore. Even if you don't think his abilities match his hype, he's quite a specimen. We saw him score one of his eight knockouts over John Alderson in July. And it was a big right hand that did the job after the usual Tyson pressure attack. Lorenzo Kennedy felt the sting in August when a half hook, half jab sent him down. When Mike gets a fighter in trouble, he's a finisher, and Kennedy couldn't stand up to his assault. But tonight, the opposition is much tougher. Donnie Long. Does Tyson think it's his hardest test? I look at him as a good fighter, and I look at uh, most of my opponents were good fighters. But if I happen to knock out Donnie Lawn in like one round or two rounds, will he still be considered the toughest opponent that I fought? <laughs> what about um, the fact that he's got more experience than you at this point? Uh, does that disturb you at all, or is it something you think you can cope with in the ring? Well, most definitely I could cope with I wouldn't be in there fighting him if I didn't think so, and my manager didn't think so. But besides the point, I think um, fights in there to be won, and you're not in the basis of going in and say, well, I participate, I was here, I was on television. And if you're going there with that attitude, I think you're in the wrong business. And these fights are meant to be won. I think you should win as many of them as possible. Well, Mike Tyson, just as we saw earlier with Burt Cooper, hasn't gone long in five of his eight knockouts here, Al. And only three opponents have been able to get by that first round. He goes out quickly. We've seen that every time. And again, the key question, what if Donnie Long takes him a little longer into the fight? We'll see. Well, Donnie Long is a rather interesting story. He did not fight at all in 1984. He's had two impressive fights in 1985. And I'll ask him, going up against Mike Tyson, if indeed he'd be ready for this outstanding youngster. I'm in good shape. I feel sharp, and uh, I feel like an outbox Tyson. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You felt that uh, Tillman in the Olympic trials outboxed Tyson, used his uh, lateral movement and good jab, and those are skills you have, but you can punch also. Yes. I plan on boxing Tyson, too. I think that I, I can box as good as he can, and I keep him in the middle of the ring, and I, I can punch as, if not better than Tyson. Will this be a win that puts Donnie Long back into the heavyweight picture? This will be a win that let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. Well, eight previous opponents thought that they were the toughest for Mike Tyson. Donnie Long may well be. Let's meet him officially. Here's ring announcer Michael Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we stay in the heavyweight division. Man your battle stations. This is going to be a good one. Scheduled for six rounds. The referee for this bout is Frank Cappuccino. Introducing first in the red corner. He's wearing the red trunks with gold trim and weighs 215 and three quarter pounds from Youngstown, Ohio. His professional record, an excellent one. 15 wins, three losses, 10 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Donnie, the master of disaster long. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with green trim, weighing 215 and three quarter pounds also. He's from Catskill, New York. Undefeated in eight consecutive bouts, all knockout victories. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Tyson. Interesting enough, both fighters weighed identical, 215 and three quarters today. Good evening, gentlemen. You both received your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. Both his touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Again, Donnie Long out of the ring, but he's returned for two fights. The last August 27th, a knockout of Frank Draper, second straight knockout in 85. And Tyson, with eight consecutive knockouts, put down Michael Johnson, 39 seconds into the first round, his fifth first round knockout in his eight professional fights. 
Again, Tyson in the white, and the red and the goal is Donnie Long, and Tyson goes right in with the left hand. Mike Tyson has enormous strength, and uh, that's what he will try and test Donnie Long with. Long himself can punch pretty good. He's got some power, but the key for Long, I think, in his fight is to counterpunch well against Tyson, hit him as he's coming in. Tyson again, another one of those fresh youngsters, only 19 years of age. Long is 27. Oh, oh wow. My. Well, that was quick. Tyson putting him down here early in the first rank. Cappuccino looking on closely. You see Long holding those gloves up to say he's all right, but is he? Here comes Tyson. Left hand again. Well, he nearly sent Long out of the ring with that left hook. Tyson. Oh, Long is down. Second time. Another knockdown. There is no three knockdown rule, but the referee can stop it after three if he decides so. This is very impressive. Mike Tyson not expected to come out this strong against Long. Five of eight have fallen in the first. Is it six of nine as Tyson comes out with a strong right hand barrage again? This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but and give Tyson credit. That's it. it. Wow. The left hand puts him down. He collapses, and this one is over as the doctors rush into the ring. Huh. Make no mistake about it. That was a good performance. Not just because of what he did. As you look at Donnie Long, and he's talking to the doctor recently, hope he's okay, but because he did it against the fighter who, even though he's not what he was two years ago, is still should be more than a journeyman heavyweight. Boy, he's strong. That young man is strong, and for Donnie Long, he felt the effects of that strength. You know, it was interesting to see Long when he thought he was going to get up and then just kind of crumple down again. We had fear for the injury for Long, but you can see he's up, and Tyson celebrating here, and Long is up. And now the celebration can go as we take a look again at a disastrous first round for Donnie Long, a big one for Mike Tyson. Donnie Long came out with the hopes of boxing Tyson, but there, Tyson gets in with a, a very good left hook on which he had great leverage and hurt Long. I think Long didn't expect that he would be able to be hurt. This is a man, remember, that went 10 with James Broad, 10 with John Tate. Couldn't go even two with that man, Mike Tyson. Well, Kevin Rooney looking on, manager Jim Jacobs out in the crowd. Mark Baranski also there as young Mike Tyson is put away. Donnie Long in the first. The end of the fight, that, that's, that left hand, such a short left hand, but delivered really well by Tyson. And they've been working to shorten his punches, and uh, it has been effective. Well, I know there's a guy smiling out there, Gus Diamata, 77-year-old trainer of Mike Tyson. And let's officially get the time of another first-round knockout for Tyson. Here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the official time. One minute, 28 seconds of the first round. Nine consecutive knockouts, nine consecutive victories. The winner by knockout, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson with another knockout. Again, his sixth in nine professional fights. A knockout in the first round. Top rank boxing, and one of the bright new stars is Mike Tyson. He visits with Al Bernstein. Well, Mike, Mike Tyson is indeed turning into a bright new star in the heavyweight division. Earlier in the day, I really thought that Donnie Long would be a fairly tough opponent for you. He wasn't. Well, like I told you in the, earlier today, if I knock him out in one or two rounds, would you still consider him that? Well, I thought he was supposed to be, but I guess he wasn't. Oh, now he wasn't. He was. No, no, he was a tough man. I'm just saying for you he wasn't tough, apparently, because you beat him. Well, um, first of all, I'd like to just thank Cus for putting in all the hard work mm -hmm. and reaching me to the goal that we're trying yeah. to pr approve right now. And I'd like to say hello to all my family back home and to once more my dearest friend, Rory Holloway, back in Albany, New York. And now on the question, I knew from the beginning, but everybody else didn't know that... Yeah. It was no comp. It was no comp. Mm -hmm. Let's like the rest of it. A lot of people came to look. Jesse Ferguson came to look. The Frasers came yeah. to look. James Broad was out there. James, all of you, all of you come get some. Cause Mike Tyson's out here. He's waiting <laughs> for you. All come get some. All right, well, let's see what you did give to Donnie Long. We'll take a look at the le first left hook, Mike, that you knocked him down with. Uh, take a peek at it. Everything was timed. I saw, like, I put my jab out. He had a good jab, so I said, I'm a timer. Boom, he wasn't even respecting because I saw the right hand keep coming down. And I was very calm and relaxed. Now, his plan, I think, uh, as it is for most people that fight you, is they want to try and box and stay on the outside and jab you and counterpunch you. But 
you are very hard, apparently, to counterpunch as you come in. Now, why do you feel that so? Because I put so much training and effort into evading punches. As anyone say, as Henry Tillman said in the article, some um, derogatory things about I'm going to do it, I don't think, or move my head. As anybody can see, I'm almost a master at invading the punches coming at me. If anybody saw all of my fights, I don't get hit. I never have, I yet to have a bloody nose. I never had marks on my face. And as anybody say, it's hard because I'm a counter puncher myself, but I just do it with a lot of aggression. Mm -hmm. Are you, that's something obviously you and Cus Kevin Rooney also uh, work on a lot, the, the evading of punches and the defense as you come in, because you know you're an aggressive fighter, and so guys are going to try and counter punch as you come in. That is so, but anybody that wants to stay in the business for a long period of time, like myself, I plan on staying in boxing. I would like to box for at least a good 20 years, because I love the game. Um, and to be in this game for 20 years, you can't be in there, you can't take a lot it's of It's a long punches. time, 20 years. True, but I'd like to finish a career with 20 years. Okay, yeah, he is young, that's true. Um, what's next you, for you, do you think, in terms of your level of, of what you want to see? Well, as I was saying, I can't really tell you at this yeah. point, but it was supposed to be for eight rounds. I was supposed, supposed yeah. to start fighting eight rounds, but for some um, unknowable reason, it came to six rounds. Yeah. But I was prepared. I was ready for ten rounds. Mm -hmm. I trained for ten rounds, all my fights. And I'd like to thank James Broad a great deal for training with me. It mm -hmm. helped a great deal. And like I said, whatever my managers decide, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to do my business. They're going to do their business, and our goal is going to be a far-gone conclusion. All right. You took care of business tonight. Congratulations, Thank Mike. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, what a phenomenon uh, Mike Tyson was. 19-year-old, 20-year-old boy, the youngest man to ever become champ of the world. He hit guys and knocked him unconscious. Not unlike Joe Lewis and George Foreman. And he had hand speed like a Muhammad Ali, and he'd move around. He's gonna be remembered for a long time. Mike Tyson's fights were turning into a battle of quality versus quantity. He needed more experience before he faced the top heavyweights, but everybody so far had failed to challenge him. Tyson's extraordinary journey continues in the next episode of Tyson raw and uncut. Mike Tyson! I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. You gotta be smart and not get hit. When you're able to do this, you're a fighter.